Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Monday in the 24th week in Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, and my mouth, mouth shall, shall declare, declare your praise. praise. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let, Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are his people, the flock, his shepherds. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Masa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Each morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. You turn men back to dust and say, Go back, sons of man, to your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury. Our guilt lies open before you, our secrets in the lights of your face. All our days pass away in your anger, our life is over like a sigh. Our span is seventy years, or eighty for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly, and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger and fears the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent. Is your anger forever? Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From the farthest bounds of earth, may God be praised. Sing to the Lord a new song, His praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the coastlands and those who dwell in them. Let the steep and its cities cry out, the villages where Kedar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Sela exult and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter His praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero. Like a warrior, He stirs up His ardor. He shouts out His battle cry. Against His enemies, He shows His might. I have looked away and kept silence. I have said nothing, holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills. All their herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey. By paths unknown I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You who stand in His sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to His name, for He is King. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for Himself, and Israel for His own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever He wills, in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of Egyptians he smote, of men and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, he let Israel inherit their land, on his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, Creator and Ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, in giving this instruction, I do not praise the fact that your meetings are doing more harm than good. First of all, I hear that when you meet as a church, there are divisions among you. And to a degree I believe it, there have to be factions among you in order that also those who are approved among you may become known. When you meet in one place, then, it is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in eating, each one goes ahead with his own supper, and one goes hungry while another gets drunk. Do you not have houses in which you can eat and drink? Or do you show contempt for the Church of God and make those who have nothing feel ashamed? What can I say to you? Shall I praise you? In this matter, I do not praise you. 
For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes again. Proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes again. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes again. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me, to do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes again. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes again. May all who seek you exalt and be glad in you, and may those who love your salvation say ever, The Lord be glorified. Proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes again. Please stand. so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had finished all his words to the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave who was ill and about to die, and he was valuable to him. When he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him asking him to come and save the life of his slave. They approached Jesus and strongly urged him to come, saying, He deserves to have you do this for him, for he loves our nation, and he built the synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them, but when he was only a short distance from the house, the centurion sent friends to tell him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not consider myself worthy to come to you. But say the word, and let my servant be healed. For I too am a person subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come here, and he comes and to my slave do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him, and turning, said to the crowd following him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When the messengers returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. Kapag ka ang isang bagay ay hindi gumagalaw ng napakatagal na panahon, ang suspetsya natin ay eh baka patay na. Bangkay, hindi kumikilos. Kaya, ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, nung makitang kumikilos na mabuti ang pananampalataya ng sinturyong Romano, maski siya namang ha, buhay na buhay yung pananampalataya ng sinturyong Romano. Eh hindi naman hudyo. Hindi naman kapanalig. Pagano? Subalit kitang-kita mong kumikilos yung kanyang pananampalataya. Dahil sa ubod ng bait. Sa makatwid, yung pananampalataya niya, hindi puro salita na walang ginagawa. Kumikilos. At sino yung pinagkaintirisan niyang ipakita ang kanyang ubod ng kabaitan? Yung kanyang alipin. Biro niyo, opisyal na Romano. Sinturyong Romano, ibig sabihin nun, isang militar sa hukbong sandatahan ng mga imperyo ng Roma na merong isang daang tropa na kanyang pwedeng utusan, nagkaroon ng interes sa kapakanan ng kanyang alipin. E nung araw, ang mga alipin, hindi tinatratong tao. Kaya nga tinatawag na alipin eh. Para lang yan, muebles. Silya, na kapag ka hindi mo na maupan at paralisado na, pwede mong itapon. Pwede mong ipagbili sa iba kung may bibili pa. O oh, pwede mong iwanan na lang at pabayaang mamatay. Walang sisino sa iyo sapagkat ang alipin ay ari-arian. Pero nagkaroon siya ng interes. Mabait. Kaya na mga ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo nagpakumbaba pa, kumunta sa kanya nagpasugo pa sapagkat hindi daw siya karapat dapat na humarap sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kaya buong kababa ang loob, nagpasabi na lang, pwede ba? Nakikisuyo ako, yung alipin ko, may sakit. Pwede ba niyang pagalingin? Kung tutuusin, pwede niyang utusan si Kristo. Sapagkat siya ila, nabibilang sa lahi na nasasakupan. Kaya pwede ding alipinin. Pero hindi. Maginoo. Na mga ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo sapagkat maski noong panahong yun, yung mga sundalo, hindi sikat sa pagiging maginoo. Kung ngayon, natatakot kayo pag sinabing pulis. Sundalo, ayan, may pulis, may pulis, may sundalo, sundalo. Oh, natatakot kayo sa halip na kayo'y pumayapa. Sapagkat ang pumapasok agad sa isip ninyo, sa halip na kapayapaan ng dala, ay eh baka karahasan. Di ba? Sapagkat ngayon ay sikat na sikat. Mga sundalo at mga pulis, yung tinatawag natin pulis brutality. Hindi naman nila lahat. Pero kapag ka, sinabi mong pulis ngayon, yan ako, eh... Tanyag sa police brutality. Eh, noong panahon ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, ganyan na yan. Ang pumatay nga sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, mga sundalo, no? Ganong kalupit. Pero ibang-iba ito. Kaya nga, Panginoong Heso Kristo, namang ha. Amen. An officer and a gentleman. At hindi pa nila kapanalik. Sabi nga niya, ngayon lang ako nakakita ng ganitong pananampalatayang. Hindi ko nakakita sa 
karamihan sa buong Israel. Bakit? Eh yung mga Hudyo, mababait niya. Pero mababait lang kadalasan sa templo. Madadasalin. Nag-aayuno tuwing Martes at saka Biyernes. Malalaman mo na yan kapag ka nag-aayuno. Mahahaba yung mga mukha nila, pinalulungkot para ipahalata sa ibang taong sila yung nag-aayuno. Kaya pag nakakita ka ng parisi, yung mahaba ang mukha at mukhang swelas ng sapatos mo, sasabihin mo, Biyernes na ba? Bakit? Uy, mukhang kwaresma. O, mukhang... Suelas ng sapatos yung mukha ng pariseyo. Nag-aayuno yan. Nagkukontribusyon sa templo. Eksakto. Ang abulo yan dyan. Kaya kung sasabihin mo, Uy, ang babaet. Nagdadasal tuwing ikatatlong oras, alas tres, alas seis, alas nuebe. Ang question. Mababait ba sa kapwa? Sila yung mapanghusga. Kaya ang dami-daming kaso ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, di ba? Hinahatak yung nagkasala. Pagkatapos sasabihin sa Panginoong Heso Kristo, husgahan mo! Mapanghusga. Ginagawa pa yung araw ng pangilin para sila eh ma sa mga gawain ng kawanggawa. Sabi, eh, pangilin ngayon, hindi pwedeng magkawanggawa. Dapat nagpapahinga tao. O kahit na emergency, hindi mo pwede silang abalahin. O ginagawa yung reliyon na exemption para sa pagkakawanggawa, sa pagkat-araw ng pangilin. E, samantalang ito, no? Pagano, hindi ka pa nanampalataya ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, may sariling huwisyo, may sariling kabutihan nang gagaling sa puso. Nakikita sa kinikilos at ginagalaw kahit na labas sa pananampalataya ng mga Hudyo. O kaya ka tayo, no? Nakakatu nakakat nakakalungkot, nakakatawa pero nakakalungkot. Naturing ang bansang kristyano at katoliko. Pero napakabulok ang ugali at patakaran na nangyayari sa lipunan natin. Pero makikita, madadasalin tayo, diboto tayo. Paano para tayo mga hudyo, iba yung ugali sa loob ng simbahan Iba yung ugali sa labas ng simbahan. Separation of the church and society. Kapag kaharapan Diyos, mabait. Kapag kaharapan tao, eh, wala na yan. Hindi nila nakikita yung ritual na ginagawa sa simbahan pag nagsisimba. Tingnan nyo, ang pare, ano, ang tagal, hinahanda kayo saan? Sa pangungumunyon. Pero pagkatapos ng komunyon ninyo, nakuha nyo na ang katawan at dugo ni Kristo, may grasya na kayo sa puso nyo, ang bilis ng pare. Maguhugas lang ng kanyang pinagkainan. Pagkatapos sasabihin sa inyo, tapos na ang misa, umayo kayong mapayapa. Pinaalis na kayo. Sinisugo na kayo sa misyon. Kung pwede ko nga sabihin, eh, may pagkabastos lang. Eh. Tapos na ang misa, ano pa tinutungangan nyo rito? Ano gagawin niyo pagkatapos ng misa? O kayo, o, ginang, ano gagawin mo pagkatapos ng misa? Nakuha mo na si Kristo. Ano gagawin mo pagkatapos ng misa? Iuwi na po ako. Wala ka ba trabaho? Eh, housewife po ako. Sa bahay lang po. Oo. Oh. Ako kumunyon mo lang. pag mo sa bahay, pakita mo, daladala -dala mo si Kristo. Hindi yung nakakaapat na baitang ka pa lang ng hagdanan eh. Pag na may nakita kang nakakainis sa bahay, eh, katakot-takot na masasamang salita na maririnig sa iyo, sa iyong mga kasambahay. Tak-tak-tak! 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 
Lahat ng tao sa bahay nagtataka, saan ba nang galing yan? Ba't ganyan ang bunga nga niya? Kasi simba lang niyan. Kita mo yung rosaryo, nakapulupot pa sa palad niyan. O ikaw, saan ka naman pupunta, ginoo, pagkatapos nito, magtatrabaho po ako saan? Sa gobyerno. O sige ha, serbisyo publiko. Tapat! Katatapos mo lang mangumun yun. Pupunta ka sa opisina mo, nakaswivel chair ka pa. Meron ka pang estatwa ng Santo Nino. O litrato ng Divine Mercy. Pero lahat na yun nakikita yung mga under the table deals. Minsan nga garapalan pa, pati table kasama sa deal. Iba yung ginagawa sa simbahan. Iba yung ginagawa sa labas. Ikaw, Father. O, ano gagawin ng pagkatapos nito? Ay, oh, oh. Mukhang banal na banal ka kapag ka nagmimisa. O, oh, oh. makita mo, no? Pag yun, makikita ka namin, ano? Hmm. Nasa Maynila ka kung ano-ano ginagawa mo doon. Mag-aalas 11 na ng gabi. Nasa lansangan ka pa. Oh, doon sa mga lugar na hindi dapat makita, pare. Oh, ano ka? Ano sasabihin mo sa amin? Minaniwala kayo pag ako nagmimisa. Misa yon. Pag sa labas ng misa, iba naman yun. Yung ba si Paresyon? Separation of religion and everyday life. Kaya ewan ko ba kung bakit tayo mayabang na mayabang magsabi, ako'y katoliko sarado. Sarado? Bakit, bakit mo sinara yung pagkakatoliko mo? Oh, mabait ka lang kapag ka nasa simbahan. Pag lumabas ka nasa simbahan, iba na ugali mo. Matuto tayo dito sa Romano. Hindi ka pa nanampalatay at kapanalig ng mga Hudyo. Pero puno rin ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Daig mo pa yung aking mga kababayan. Na nagsasabing sila'y membro ng lahing pinili. Pinili ng Diyos na maging anak nila. Pero ang mga ugali, hindi mo makita kung sila'y mga anak ng Diyos. Mabuti pa itong yung Romanong ito. na hindi kalahi, hindi kapanali, pero yung buhay niya na aayon sa kalooban ng Diyos. Ang kailangan sa Pilipinas, hindi mga katoliko serado, buksan na natin ang ating mga sarili. Tayong lahat dapat maging katoliko abierto. Katulad ng sinturyong Romano, paglabas ng templo, nakikita yung pananampalataya nila sa kanilang pang-araw-araw na tungkulin at pang-araw-araw na buhay. Yan ang buhay na pananampalataya. Hindi patay. We all stand to offer our prayers. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. The Church in all places may consider no one as a foreigner or an outsider. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who govern our civil life may treat if every person with justice and equality, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may learn to understand and accept those people who differ from us in beliefs, race, or background, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the elderly, the lonely, and the sick 
may receive the comfort of God's love in their distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Master of the Order and his assistants, and for our brothers and ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That our departed brothers and sisters may be welcomed in the kingdom of eternal life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty Father, open our hearts to the spirit that Jesus promises to us so that in the fullness of grace, we may be able to share it, especially to those people who do not belong to our circle, but still called to become children of your heavenly Father. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. of made, this will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the divine works of human hands, this will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Please Pray, stand. my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all this holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right it is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down the Spirit upon them, like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francisco, our Pope Socrates, our Bishop Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostle Saint Dominic and Saint Francis and all the saints who have preached you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. stand. Jesus loves us and in his love for us he taught us to call his own father our father so we have the courage to say our father who art, who art in heaven, heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom come thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our, our trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you, your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, the world. have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on heart shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The devotees of Our Lady of the Rose of Manawa, the October feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa will be on October 2, 2022. We invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will be start will start at sub from September 23 to October 1 to 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with, with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website at www.minorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the Electronic Souvenir Program. Thank you for your continued support. Please stand. Kami po ito sa puso nagpapasalamat sa lahat sa inyo na nagsidalo sa pagdiriwang ng Santa Eucharistia na way pagpatuloy niyo po ang inyong pagdarasal para sa aming mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. Makakaasa kayo, ipagdadasal din namin kayo at ang inyong mga minamahal sa buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we join as we pray to for the blessing of the sick and then followed by the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness, restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.